what is going on with you guys thank you for tapping in with me again today and if you're new to the channel i'm cleveland so it's been a few days guys i hope everybody's doing great we are we have some big plans coming up i don't want to share them yet but we have some big plans coming up i'll let you know next month but i have a treat for you guys it's been a few days like i said and today we are going to move these two fish in this 20 gallon this top 20 gallon aquarium right here salt water back into the 225 do you know who it is i know some of you ogs know who it is it is titus and arminiatus it is finally time to put those guys back into that 225 why you might ask so all of the fish that i was concerned about they have exploded in size they have grown tremendously so i'm not worried about these guys picking on them also i have some bad news don't know who did it, but somebody ate our Soho tank. Man, you know, if you guys know how bad I wanted that Soho tank. I wanted that Soho tank so bad, and I was so happy that I finally got him. I didn't want him so small, but I thought he was doing good. That's the reason why I moved these guys out. Nonetheless, other the other fish got too big. Somebody ate him. And then who else? Oh, then our blue line trigger. So we lost our Soho tank, somebody ate him, and then we lost our blue line trigger. You know, sometimes you just lose fish, guys, so what can I say? Nonetheless, this video is not about that. Let's get back to what's going on in this video right here. Like I said, we're going to move these two fish right here back into the 225. And I just wanted to do it with you. I could easily just grab them, scoop them, and put them up into there, but I wanted to do it with you guys. So, let's take a look at these two guys right here. You might notice the aquarium is looking a little green again. That's what happens when it's right by this window. So, once I take these guys out, I probably will just leave it. I probably will not put any more fish in there because... Let's get to the video. So, let's take a look at these guys. All right, here we are. We have the Miniatus and the Titan Trigger. The Miniatus was bullying the Soho Tang, and then the Titan Trigger was bullying our Red Breasted Rats. So the Red Breasted Rats has definitely gotten bigger and a lot more aggressive, so I think it'll be fine. So nonetheless, it's time to get these guys up out of the small tank. And um, and then also the spotted um, the spotted grouper, he killed the blue line, and then he beat the hell out of the, uh, the black spotted grouper that we still have so we need to make sure that uh that that's not gonna happen again anyway let's scoop these guys out get them into that other aquarium first i will take some of this water out i'm going to put it in a bucket because we are definitely going to acclimate them quick acclimation and then uh we're gonna get them into there so let's do it here's a look at this 125 you can see how everybody's doing everybody doing good we went ahead and moved the bright count over here. He hated it in the aquarium with the with the turtles. Basically, he was on, he was trying to kill himself, hitting the top, trying to jump out for no reason. Um, ever since I put him over here, he's been good. He's healed up nicely. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going. That's so that's what's going on with this one. Of course. We have Miami right here. I'm about to give her a bigger basking platform today. Uh, and then, and then I took all the rock out of this one. And just have the two turtles in there. All right, so we got this bucket right here. So all I'm about to do is just go ahead and siphon out some of this water first. too far back. Alright, uh, you're in the mix now. Don't even have to take out that much water. I've been waiting on this. Yeah, I've been waiting on this for a long time. These guys down here been doing cool. Take a look at them. Yeah, they've been solid right here. I can't wait to get out these two clowns right here. Move them into the 37. 
It's going to be dope when they get into a real big 125 reef. All right. That's all I needed for the water. Yep, that's all I need for water right there. That's cool. That's it. Yeah, that's all I need right there. All right. So let's catch these guys. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. It's a small tank, but I don't want to take out any of that rock. And they're going to utilize that to their advantage. They're going to make sure that they swim around that rock. Matter of fact, eh, I need another another container all right taking this rock out right now yep this is definitely making it a lot easier and I'm actually looking forward to cleaning it Alright, that's all I really gotta take out. But you know what? Let's get the last two pieces just so they can't try to play me. One. And two. Alright, now this is gonna be easy. Yeah, get it right up in that net, boy. Get in that. Get in that net. You see how fast he is? And this is an empty tank. Now just imagine how it would have been if I would have left that rock in there. Got the mini Addis. I know. Come on. Don't get yourself stuck up in here. And that's what he did do. There we go. All right, now Titus, on the other hand, it's gonna be easy to catch, but he has those triggers, the little, little triggers. So I'm hoping, oh wow, just got through there, huh? Through the net, huh? Yeah, I do have a big hole in there. I mean, yeah, I just didn't get through it, but Titus did. Not the second time around. <clears throat> right out. Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff right there. Real good stuff. Wasn't that bad at all. So that's why I took out all that rock. Made it easier to catch them in the end. But uh, take a look at them. Let me show you what they're looking like up in here. Here they are right there. Titus and Arminiatus that we still have a name. Let's go and get them in that 225. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have some monsters in this aquarium. I mean, look at this Emperor Snapper. We have Panther Groupers are pretty much the same size. The red-breasted Raz back there, that's one of my favorites, has gotten a lot of girth to him, or her. It's a female, <laughs> or so we say. But I was wrong about our spotted grouper over there. Pretty much the same size as a Miniatus, but a little bit thicker. So we'll see how that work out. But... We gotta, get in this, we gotta get these guys into this tank, but first we need to make sure we feed them. We don't want these guys to be mistaken for food. So I quickly thawed out some shrimp and uh, we'll just let them go ahead and do their thing. And while they're eating, I'm gonna be on this other side over here, taking out a little bit of water so we could do a quick acclimation. They're making quick work of all that shrimp. These guys could go through, if I, if I haven't fed them in two days, they could go through a whole bag of shrimp. Those bags come with about 30 to 40 shrimp. The Florida soft shell, on the other hand, she could probably eat about 20 of them herself. All right. So let me throw in some more shrimp. I think we're safe. 
I fed them real good last night, so I'm sure they're not they're not very hungry. That was a quick acclimation, like I said. So while they were eating, we were draining water. That's all it's going to take. We are about to put these guys into this 225. Let me grab my net. Man, I've been waiting on this moment for a long time. So we're gonna drop them in. Let's wipe off this glass. We gotta have a clear picture of these guys going in. All right, so who we starting off with? Let's grab Titus, since he's right here. I know Titus. You already know what time it is. There you go. Back in. Had to, had to back Emma off a little bit. We're going to change the name, my bad. It's not Emma. All right, here comes the Miniatus. Come on. A little big for this, little big for this net, but let's go. Yeah, you're looking mad, I know. Definitely. <laughs> there we go. Uh, his colors are very beautiful. Right. There we go. All right. They are back in the big aquarium. And we need these guys to stay together because when we do this plywood build, everybody's going into the big, the big one. Oh no. What? The grouper, the big grouper. Chasing him off. It's all right. Oh, they got shrimp all on the other side. All right guys, so let me go ahead and wipe off this glass. I'm gonna let Aida do the montage right quick, do a little minor montage while I handle this because there's a whole bunch of shrimp over there that you might want to go see who's going to eat it. Where did the Miniatus go? Miniatus scared? Titus not scared. Look at Titus up there. <laughs> the orange line trying to come greet him. I don't know where he thinks. Right, like you know, you know you're not about to push up on Titus, but you know they don't know until they know. Um, yeah, he's trying to. Titus not scared though. We already know Titus not going for that. Once you get com, once you get comfortable, you know I don't want there to be I don't want there to be any bullying in the tank. But I know Titus for sure is not about to allow himself to get bullied. That's for sure. Yeah, the Miniatus. I want to see you. you helping me, Papa? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Pops. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I don't know where the mini Addis is. No. I'm going to take out some of that shrimp if they're not going to eat it. Cause yeah, I don't think they are. Gonna I don't think they are either because they're, they're really full from, from yesterday. So that's cool. Hey, yeah. Remember they had beef before? Yeah, the mini Addis and the other one. Are they next to each other? No, I'm talking about the uh, Joker. Oh, not really. <sighs> All right, let me get. Oh, here's the Minneapolis right here. He's back here looking all stressed out. If I was him, I would have been scared about the Panther Grouper pressing up on me as well. Come on, come on, Harley. Hell yeah. That's yeah, exactly the reason. That's out. exactly the reason. Not, not really. He's right here. His whole head and mouth is right here. And then the other one is way over here. He ain't even tripping off of him. That's, that's not what I expected to happen, you know? I was concerned about him going after the, the, um, the spotted one over here. Then I was worried about maybe, you know, him going after the wrasse. But he over there spooked because of the Panther Groupers. That's funny. Unexpected. I kind of rather him be a little timid and afraid than going in there trying to smash again. And I got to immediately take him right back out. I Leave agree. something to the imagination. Let me think it's going to be okay. That's right, Pop. Make us think it's going to be all right. Oh. Come on now, 
you already scared of Titus? Man, I hope that's not. I, know, I hope that's not the case. All right. <sighs> okay, so we have some some beef in the tank. We have some fish hiding, so they're not back to normal. So we're not gonna just sit here and push you through it. Um, but we will grab the camera again when they when they actually you know resume their normalcy then we'll pick back up the camera we'll do a little uh, update for you guys if anything crazy happened we have another video coming out so um yeah all right so <laughs> crawled over there having a blast yeah he's probably gonna keep doing it every time you throw the ball up is he gonna do it again all right so i got a little break i don't just do, just go through it All right, guys, so uh, that's a good little. Oh. Yeah. You gonna clean the glass? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, it got away. All right, enough fun with that. All right, so, yay. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I am happy to finally have Titus and our mini Addis back into this aquarium. I cannot wait to put these guys into our extra large plywood aquarium that we're going to build but anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned something don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on instagram at the fish corner you know facebook the fish corner follow me on tiktok the fish corner and until next time guys peace hey what's going on with you guys welcome to the episode of tapping in and if you're new to the channel i am cleveland if this is your first time here welcome welcome to tapping in on this channel i like to do a lot of talks about things that i feel like that's relevant things that i feel like might be useful things that i have learned I'm 39 years old going 39 years old so the things i have learned up to this point things i want to share with you guys um you know, just each one teach one, man. You know, just talking to you guys about things that um, I go through um, and things that I've learned. So with that being said, this topic, I want to talk about something that I have heard um, from a public speaker by the name of Les Brown. Smart man. Um, has a lot of knowledge out there for you guys. A lot, of, a lot of different speeches and things like that that you might want to tap in and listen to. But um, he said one thing that I want to talk to you guys about today he said do what you can where you are with what you have so that right there it resonates with me in a certain way so how many of you guys have ever been in a situation and someone tried to make it seem like it was beyond you it was something that's that wasn't in something that you couldn't do at the moment because you didn't have something. It was something that you needed. How many times have you been in a situation like that where you feel like you couldn't do something because you needed something? But a lot of us, I know a lot of us have actually been in a situations where we're like, man, I don't give a damn what I need. I'm about to get, I'm about to make, I'm about to take the first step, get it going right now, and uh, each step in front of the other, and I'm just gonna keep on moving. Well, that's really the best way of looking at it and the way of doing things. It don't matter what the hell you're going through, what you've been through. It's all about how you come up out of that. It's all about what you do with it. We've all been dealt cards called life. It's up to us to choose how we gonna play that game, right? So never sit up there and allow a certain situation be the defining moment and a definer in whether or not you move past it. I could give you a couple examples of uh, when I actually went through some shit like that. So uh, I've only said it one time. I might not keep saying that shit, but you know, I've been incarcerated before, and being incarcerated and getting out with felonies, it's very difficult to find work. 
So, you know, a lot of people, me, myself, you go right back to the streets, go right back to the same shit, you know, end up right back in jail. So, um, eventually, what I needed to do is say, I'm about to put something else first above money, which was my freedom. So, that was like, that's what changed the game for me, was me putting my putting my freedom first. Everything else came after that. After that, I started getting more education. I started adding value to myself so I could demand more from an employer. So that was my game changer. Um, but the whole time I knew where I wanted to go. I knew what I wanted to achieve. I knew that shit when I was 16 years old. I already made a plan of where I wanted to be at 21, 25, 30, etc. It didn't happen because of the life choices I've made, but I still knew the destination. And I'm still on that same path. Deviated a little bit, but still on the same path. I have the direction. So regardless of the cards that I was dealt, I don't give a, I don't give a damn. I'm gonna still make it happen. Uh, losing my mom when I was 15, that was hard. That was very hard. Uh, you know, that would break, you know, a kid. You know, especially being that my pops passed when I was five. So um, growing up, basically, you know, teenager when things are just getting real you know you're about to become 18 in three years you know both parents gone so um those were some fucked up cards you know what i'm saying but um i got through it you know what i'm saying i got through that shit you know what i'm saying so um here i am you know 38 going on 39 you know got my own business um i've got a few businesses actually got a non-profit as well got the youtube channel got you know got a family you know got, i thought i got some some things some good things going for me you know what i'm saying and uh, life would say anybody that's thrown those cards or dealt those cards you know where they they're not gonna do nothing with their life they just gonna keep on fucking up or they gonna end up you know in jail or dead you know what i mean like yeah i've been in, i've been in jail but i'm not i'm not in jail you know what i'm saying so uh yeah you know i've been home 12 years you know uh so it feels good. And so it goes back to what I was saying. You know, do what you can where you are with, with what you have. You know, when I started this YouTube channel, um, I've had some 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 real foul, fucked up comments and shit like that where people say things like, you know, get, in a, get a house, not an apartment, whatever. Like, you know, like, everybody, ha you don't know how everybody came up. You never know how a motherfucker came up. So you can't sit up there and just judge and say what a person is supposed to do and what's supposed, what they're supposed to have and how they're supposed to do it when you don't know a person's situation. You know what I'm saying? That's ignorant on your part. Uh, so I decided that regardless of me having a house and having a place to do all this right now, having a fish basement or, you know what I'm saying? I decided I'm going to do it now because I love the hobby. I love the fish hobby. That's what I do. That's my, that's my ther it's therapeutic, you know, and uh, I got that from my grandma. I got that from my mom. You know, it's passed down from generation to generation. So, and then I like to give back in a hobby. You know, I've given away fish tanks before, a few times. Shipped them out on my buck, on my dollar. Um, you know, no problem. You know, I do that kind of stuff because I want to give back to the hobby. You know what I'm saying? So the knowledge I try to give you guys or give my viewers um, and my subscribers, I try to give them a tip, a better way, something that's working for me that they could, they could use or something that I've been through a way of me hitting my head. I don't want them to hit their head, so I educate them. And I tell them what my mistake was so they don't make it as well. You know, again, go back to each one, teach one. But if I would have listened to, you know, the cats that said that made it seem like I shouldn't even have, you know, a big aquarium because I live in an apartment, you know, I'm on my way to 10,000 subs, you know. That's, that's proud to me, you know what I'm saying, especially coming from where I come from. So, uh, again, like I said, just make sure that, you never allow somebody to make it seem like you can't do something. Don't, whether even if it's yourself, you know what I'm saying? Don't tell yourself that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't sit up there and bash yourself or allow someone else to bash you. Never be okay and complacent. Always push for greater. And again, we're not doing this shit no more. Be okay and do what you can where you are with what you have. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Tapping In. I love you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.